As you can imagine, this is an incredibly difficult time for those children who may have witnessed the unthinkable. NBC 5's Cassie Nelson is live in our studio with more on the lasting impacts domestic violence can have on kids. Cassie? I talked to a woman today who works with children who are affected by trauma, and she says an experience like this will affect those kids for the rest of their lives. She says it's not something they'll get over, just something they'll learn to live with. It's a chilling case of domestic violence, a husband allegedly shooting and killing his wife, while family members say two children and a teen were in the home. It is awful, no matter what age you are. The suspect, 42-year-old Wade Phillips, is now in jail, charged with murder. The kids left with just memories of their mom, Cynthia, who friends called Cindy. One of the things that we underestimate is the impact that being a part of witnessing domestic violence, being a part of domestic violence, or um, being in a family where domestic violence happens is the impact on children. Tammy Pitson is the executive director of Jackson County's Children's Advocacy Center. She says every child responds to traumatic events differently, and kids in these types of situations often suffer from post-traumatic stress. Some of the things that kids might experience is some of the same types of trauma responses that you might see in war vets. And the effects are long-lasting and wide-ranging. It can impact all areas of their lives, so it could impact school performance, it could impact peer relationships, um, it could impact relationships with other family members. Therapy and support from family can help, but Pitson says it will never fully make the pain go away. Again, detectives say the children in the home were not physically harmed during the incident. Live in the studio, Cassie Nelson, NBC5 News.